What's going on? I'm sorry, I got a mo it's a radio going in the background. We've got a 120 ton crane here and about 19 contractors, so you'll have to excuse the background noise. This is going to be a quick review of the Joey Holstery. I think this is the Joey Pouch Pro. And the Pro has got the rectangular body shape and the metal clip. Uh, overall, kind of impressions is the fabric seems pretty high quality. It's double layered in the you know the sidewalls are double layered and if i can maybe the bottom feels double layered as well it's only single row stitching though i would have liked to see double row stitching the belt clip is also riveted on a little bit crooked which is yeah uh, it hasn't bothered me when it's been on my hip uh but it is sort of like a ah uh, it's a little bit of a bummer or you know not ideal or you know a little bit of a I wouldn't say shoddy craftsmanship, but it's just a little bit of attention to detail. The elastic is high quality, and I think there is a difference between high and low quality plastic or uh, elastic, right? Like I've got some range belts at home that I you know go shooting with that are I've got pretty similarly spec nylon. I think the this is maybe a little bit poorer quality, but it's still really not too bad. Uh, I would not expect anything less though, given the price point of this thing. Uh, the parachute feature, I could probably deal without, just because I just carry tools in here and I'm usually not hanging upside down by my toes. So, so what fits in here, right? Um, this is my Fluke T6 600. Obviously I wouldn't double pouch it like that, but I had this thing in here most of the day yesterday. I was, was trying to diagnose and fix our, one of our contractor's trailers. Oh, toss the pouch away instead of the meter. Uh, this is my Fluke T6, no, uh, 902 FC, kind of a medium to full size meter with a magnet and leads. Uh, I was climbing a ladder with this thing earlier today. Uh, 10 inch adjustable wrench. Eh, maybe if I'm climbing a ladder, I would use that parachute feature for this thing. Especially if you got a ladder cage or whatever, it's pretty easy to snag stuff on the outside of a ladder cage as you're hitting all the splices or support ribs. And eh, what else? Uh, Rubik's cube fits fits night. You could probably fit two of those in there. Um, I dropped my tape measure in here though quite a bit. Uh, I've got a Milwaukee M12 impact driver. I put uh, the two and a half amp hour high output battery on it and I dropped the battery in first so I got the impact hanging out here at the top with the bit sticking out and I've had no issues with that. It's just a handy go pouch, right? Like I've got most of my everyday tools in my pockets. I've got screwdrivers and uh, pliers wrenches and uh, needle nose snap offs and uh, Sometimes I need just one or two other things, like a pair of wire strippers and some Allen keys, or an extra socket and an impact, or a tape measure and maybe a pencil, because I don't carry a pencil. Or maybe I'm just, you know, need some parts in here. I need just a handful of 3 8 nuts and bolts, or some whiz nuts, or some wire nuts, or some electrical tape. It's just handy for, like, the little small tasks I'm doing throughout the day. And I've actually uh, put my phone in here a couple times. I'm usually a phone in the pocket only type of guy because I work around so much dust and I don't want any dust getting into the microphone or into the uh, phone itself to create any overheating issues. But uh, if I'm just outside or walking around or not doing anything super dusty, maybe I'm in the office and going out into, into the mill for a couple minutes here and there, uh, it's nice to have quick access to my phone, which I'm a little surprised about, but Oh, overall impressions and am I going to keep using this thing? Yeah, I think so. I'm glad I bought it. I was on the fence on this thing for maybe six months before I finally pulled the trigger. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I went with the pro version because this metal clip seems really nice. I think it's only a couple extra bucks. It did take a while to ship, but uh, your mileage may vary as far as that goes. I would definitely recommend getting the metal clip though. Uh, I'm pretty sure the regular version comes with just a standard plastic clip. But I don't see myself having any, again, any durability issues with this thing. I'm pretty 
smart with how I use my tools, right? Like if a 10 inch wrench won't get me by, I'm not gonna hit it with a hammer. I'm gonna upgrade to a 12 inch. So if I'm getting into some heavy duty, you know, maybe I'm building a set of stairs or ripping out some roofing and putting down some new plywood decking and whatever, I'm not gonna be probably wearing this thing except for carrying a couple small items. I'll usually throw on a full size tool bag at that point. But as far as just everyday boring tasks, again, this thing I think is gonna be my new best friend. So hopefully that was helpful for you or somebody out there or just was some good information or maybe you found this video interesting. Uh, thanks for watching.